Hi, today I'm going to talk about the LG Neon. It has a slide out full keyboard and it also has a touch screen, but unfortunately, uh, the touch screen only works if you want to make a call using this uh, keypad. It include a 2 megapixel camera um, as well as uh, video capabilities. It's got a micro. SD slot here for more um, storage if you need it. Just pops out and you pop it in. There are music capabilities. Um, you can use Bluetooth and it has a tri band GSM. There's also GPRS and Edge connectivity, but it doesn't use 3G. Um, I've gotten on the internet a couple of times and it's kind of slow, but I don't get on the internet on my phone very often. I will just maybe, if I need it, if I'm waiting on an email or something, I'll check it. Um, I got this one for $75 with a $50 rebate, so it's about $25, which I think is pretty decent for um, a newer phone like this. This came out, I believe, in February of this year. The keyboard slides in and out pretty easy. Um, I text message a decent amount, so it's kind of nice to have the keyboard. There are different options on the menus. You can make them bigger or smaller. Um, it comes with the standard ringtones. You can also download ringtones from the internet or from... Uh, there's a an application where you can make your own ringtones as well. Um, you have to connect to the internet for that. Um, overall, I think it's an okay phone. If you want one of the phones that does all the amazing super duper things, this probably isn't it. But more or less, I use my cell phone to make calls and text messages, and that's it. And so it works well for me. I probably won't use any of the other features on it. So if you just need a simple phone, um, I would suggest the Neon. But if you're looking for um, one of the smartphones or something that has a lot of um, technical features and things like that, this probably isn't for you. Thanks.